Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome back to Fallout for a survival roleplay where we have our ghoul and we have just had the opportunity to wake up in the dugout in the place that normally you would never buy a bed for. Because why? You don't need to sleep. But in survival, nice god day. damn it, does waking up in a bed where you get to sleep eight hours and. <gasps> oh, yeah. Ah, ah, one day, one day we'll get that to work. But anyway, to wake up in a bed, to find yourself happy and healthy in a safe spot where there aren't rad roaches, there aren't mire lurks, there aren't super mutants, you are happy, healthy, and you get to hang out with all these people. Now I'm just gonna go chat around with some of them because I think some of them will get us a couple missions that potentially could do some good stuff for our ghoul character. Excuse me. Specifically, Mr. Deegan. Uh, I'm listening. Got my attention. I'm always <laughs> looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. Uh, rewarda? I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. Yes! I can promise you that. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. So I have never done the Jack Cabot mission. It's, it's one that I've heard about and I hear it's really cool. And the thing is, I hear that it actually has a really good gun for our ghoul Beat playthrough. It. It's supposed to be a radiation Jesus gun. Bar. I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no, I kid, I kid. <laughs> he is dead though. <laughs> now let me know when you're ready to order. So, I actually uh, wonder why this guy Let's has a Russian have. accent, and I talked about that in another episode, <laughs> because it doesn't make sense, like, unless Russia somehow, like, combined with Boston at some point, but it's like, how would you maintain that accent? You had to have learned Russian first, or had Russian parents who spoke only English in a Russian accent. It's a really weird thing. I don't know. But anyway, I'm coming in here because I'm looking to see if he's got, like, what his waters look like and stuff, and perhaps to sell some things. Alright, so I gave him our, the rest of our 45 ammo, and I trade out some, you know, some jet fuel and things. Things that I don't necessarily think we need at the moment. I'm gonna... Unfortunately, I'm thirsty, and so I'm gonna go running around Diamond City a bit to see if I can find some free water that I can just pick up. Because I don't really want to be using the more of the purified bounties here. Open notice anyone with a gun. Raider activities on the rise of Backstreet to Peril. They have money gears, everything stolen from honest working people. I've actually done that mission before. That's really cool. I didn't know they had a bounties option like that. That's pretty sick. So this is something I really dislike. Why is a fancy hairbrush and a drinking glass from the trash considered stealing? I mean, you watch your step. Got my eye on you. Is it the beautiful dress? Is it the way that my hips swing? I mean, you know what, boy? When I say no, I mean it. Sometimes you just gotta let it go. You have to let it go. Just gotta let it go. Oh, hey, we walked in on this part. Hold on. I'm really curious if this happens this way. If I stand right here, am I about to die or is the bullet going to just go through me? I'm really... Wait, no, you're the one who shoots. Hold on. Sorry. Oh, I... Oh. Well, I just completely ruined the tension of that scene. But since Kyle isn't going to be using these bottle caps or rounds anymore, I think it's worthwhile to pick up a couple of them. What is the padded blues? Ooh, that's an interesting jacket. I kind of like that. Um, but I'm not going to be too worried about it or anything. Hello, everybody. Excuse me. Excuse me. You know, really interesting effect going on with the gun. You can see that the handle of the gun, you can see my dress through it. It's like this see-through effect. That's uh, I, really interesting. I've never seen that before. You know, there is a radiation storm going on right now. I would normally hate this and just leave and we wouldn't really be able to do anything but because we're a ghoul we can deal with this radiation no problem it's it's a very interesting subtle change to what happens when you're playing one of these games with like the dev codes change because now I mean as a ghoul a lot of what makes I would consider you know like Fallout 4 kind of difficult in 
different is this new bit of radiation that you have to deal with in survival mode. But now that that's kind of gone, it's uh, it's fascinating to me, and it's it's a little easier than I you know was expecting us to do, and so I'm am you know officially glad that we actually had some negative uh, experience with some of these perks because I feel like it does help balance out our character because we're basically playing with Aqua Boy and Aqua Girl, you know, and so now that since you know I'm doing ghoulish, the radiation covers your lost health. I'm glad with that because we basically became full ghoul, and I think it's fair that it goes this way. So our character, once again, does not steal as much as I want to grab those things. And Shang, who is, was getting just talked to by the uh, the guards saying, Hey, this is too dirty. You need to clean it up. was like, meh, I don't really care. And it's it's not good. You know, I don't want to be drinking dirty water if I can avoid it. But I might have it, be having to. You know, I can... It's weird how I can just collect this fruit without really much of a problem. But, you know, I forgot. Mud fruit actually does allow us to make some adhesive with... You know, it's really interesting how I can now use stim packs as kind of like a currency since we rarely use stim packs comparatively, do we? Like, 15 stim packs might actually be totally okay to do because, I mean, I only tend to use them as a way to heal myself if I lose a limb, not necessarily as a way to make me actually in any way like just normal healing because they have such a big limitation on them. I would rather heal by sleeping or by eating and drinking water. Also, interesting thing about the mutant hound shops, being that right now, these guys are our best form of rat away. I mean, if you look at it, it removes 50 points of radiation, but it won't come with that extra crazy negative aspect of making us thirsty, hungry, and also more likely to be infected as a rat away would. Okay, so I've done a little bit of upgrading and I put the rest of our junk here. Now the upgrade that I did was on the Righteous Authority. We now have this thing doing 49 damage. It was doing 40. Created a boosted capacitor after buying a couple bits of junk and now it's significantly stronger. So that's going to be pretty sick. Other changes that we made, we uh, are now going with the plus two luck, lucky studded leather. This is actually two damage resistance less in the form of normal damage compared to our metal weapon or thing that we had but it also gives us that 13 energy resistance with the other one gave us five so only being two less but then getting an extra eight on the energy resistance sounds good to me plus we get that plus two luck which is pretty sick so i'm okay with it and uh, it looks kind of interesting to see the like the leather leggings and then having all these metal alloy pieces but hey you know our character is a wastelander and they're all about just sort of cobbling together something in order to sort of survive as we continue to exist in this tough world. Now, I think I'm going to pop in here real quick because this can actually... Oh! This can get you a uh, extra bit of experience, but I don't think I actually did any of these missions. Uh, yeah, we just have go to Piper's office, so we didn't actually do that. Or find information about Sean and those kind of things. That's really interesting. Okay, well, let's get out of here. Actually, you know, I'm going to have the drinks of the dirty water. Just I know it's not the best case, but it's going to be something good. And hey, we get some good old dirty water, we get our character ready, and it, it'll, it'll work. Now to sort of protect me from a crash of some form, I wanted to come in here and then go back to my room that I had saved and show you guys something besides the sleep. Now if you go sleep and then immediately cancel, you can actually sleep for less than an hour and still get that save hit, So, which is pretty cool. Now, unfortunately, you saw that I just got ill from doing that. I require frequent sleep. It's, I don't th feel like that's worthwhile, the uh, amount that I need. You know, so I'm going to actually sleep a little bit longer because I want to go to the doctor and have the doctor clear me up. And then we can hold on to that antibiotics as well. And so that, I think, is a fair trade because it can be really tough when you're trying to, you know, you get sick out in the road and you don't have a doctor nearby or any antibiotics. Hey, we got Confidence Man popping up. I haven't done that mission yet either, but that's not really our focus for our character. We're looking for power or fusion cores and the like, so... Quick, hop into the doctor. Hey, Doc. I wonder if I cured my health and that was enough to uh, remove everything. That w that's fascinating. If curing health is enough to actually remove the rest of... Fascinating. Curing health might be enough to actually remove the whatever diseases you also have. Oh, cool, Doc. Hey, Doc, also, do you have any antibiotics? Oh, I have something very important to do as well. 
been kind of looking forward to getting this sort of done. Yeah, let's take this haircut. Ah, uh, perfect. Sit in the chair and cut the hair. Take off my glasses and hat. Do you guys remember the problem? Does it click? This is what the problem was. We somehow lost our baldness. I want to cut all the hair off. Bring him back. There we go. Back to our bald character. That was more than a trim there, big guy, but thank you. That was everything I needed. We offer a wide variety of medical treatments. It's interesting seeing a doctor smoke. I need some. Like, that's not exactly a very ex comfortable thing. Feel wow, no antibiotics, huh? You're a doctor, dude. All right, hold on. Antiseptic? Nope. Okay, well, <laughs> off we go then. Let's, uh, I think we should do the Cabot House. Because that will allow us to get that cool radiation weapon that will work with our character. I mean, we needed a radiation gun, and this is supposed to have a legendary variant of the radiation gun, so it's something that I think is going to be very useful for us. So let's go ahead and uh, get rid of the Jewel of the Commonwealth. Go ahead and find, talk to Jack Cabot. Now this is going to be a bit of a walk from where we are, and through some pretty dangerous territory as well. But I mean, different raider groups are carving up conquer. Uh, conquer like Christmas turkey. Excuse me, I bought. But you know that's that's what we do. We we go out into the dangerous world and we try things out. Anywho, so I'm not too worried about it since you know we'll have this good opportunity to get everything that we need. We'll have a cool little walk through the environment, get to explore, continue growing your character's role play. It'll it'll be nice. Oh, also, if you guys note the the Albany shirt that I'm wearing right now, uh, this med school is actually where Scrubs and John Dorian, JD, was created. It's uh, it's surprising, interesting that they the actual idea for the show and the character came from an actual John Dorian at this school. I believe he was a teacher at the time. I'm not 100% sure, but it was definitely it was kind of a cool little thing I learned about when I uh, have this shirt given to me. So, anywho, where are we? This is, what is this? Holy Mission Congregation? Okay, you know what? I want to just go in here. I, I just don't know what it is. It's clearly a church. And it's pretty evident that people... Alright, well, there's feral ghouls. It's pretty evident that people died here front, right as the, the bomb was going off. And it caused them to... Oh, hey -o. 1,000 radiation protection, 15 protection to pistol damage compared to the 30 on the left, uh, whatever, the other gun. That's good to know. And then they have a robot here. It's kind of interesting. Uh oh, I hear one. There you are. You know, it's kind of fun. So this person died next to this person and this one actually became a roamer. While the other one... Whoa! That's awesome! A Protectron model! Out of the Voltec lunchbox! I don't like those fashionable glasses. So, they actually had the... Some of these people turned into... The, you know, that kind of oil can nice. The crazy, ghouly selves that these people are and the feral ones. This one was just underneath something. Huh, what? Ooh, there's a lot of... Mu and a 10 millimeter pistol? I'll grab it, but that's... This crazy. Crystal liqueur decanter. Huh, it's these little story bits in Fallout. And they also did this in Skyrim as well. Where you find little areas with just like characters just existing in the world. People butchered or having a good time or just like hilarious things or sad ones like this, which is just kind of a group of people in um I don't know what happened to this robot at all. It's just all over the friggin' place. <laughs> but it's uh it's interesting to see like that the bomb hit and you know and then we have the cross up there and it doesn't really matter who you are but everybody dies kind of thing i don't exactly know what esplanade means i'm guessing that's where we are is this like the city area esplanade i haven't uh I, yeah i don't know what that means or i guess is that or esplanada oh 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 Ooh, wait 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 um uh, you have very little protection from anything <gasps> But least of all from the lightning shot. The energy shot. The lightning shot. The energy shot. Which I think it makes sense to use a lot of since we just have so much more ammunition for it. That if the opportunity arises, why not just take advantage of, you know, using the other form of, you know, weapons in the first place. Now, I'm hearing we're shooting. 
This is an interesting, ow, whoa, 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 whoa. Interesting little bit of raider territory. Okay, I'm getting hurt and I don't know from where. All right, you have 12 energy resistance compared to the 19. Hey, oh guys. Wow, they're actually hurting me a lot right now. I grabbed some bloat fly meat, which didn't give us a lot of, uh, oh, here we, there you are, which didn't actually give us a lot of respawn, but it increases our to Wow, we're about to die. Holy crap. You know what? We're actually going to take that stim pack because that's just the best tool that we have at the moment for healing us a significantly greater amount. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> I, uh, it's been a little while since I played is the best excuse that I have. God damn, was that embarrassing. Oh, we even lost our haircut. You know, interestingly, I went looking around to see if this guy had access to any antibiotics. He does have some purified water, which we're actually kind of low on. So I'm going to take three more of those out of his hands, which is nice to see. Also, I heard something about the schoolhouse having a, a book that should be useful to me. I'm curious what it is, because I actually, I don't know if it, it was, a, it was another character long ago that I was told this for. But I mean, it's like, hey, you know, why not? Can I, can I climb this? No, that's the roof. Yeah, hey, Miss Edna, what's up? Oh my god, is that a dead cat? No, it's alive. It's just being a cat. Ooh, there's the book. Live in love. Robot companions permanently inflict five, inflict, not inflict, inflict 5% damage. Oh, that is, that makes sense why you were to, oh, I bet that was only automatron playthrough. Gotcha. Yeah, that would have been really useful. All right, fully fed and fully sated in all forms and matters. Let's try that again, shall we? You know, I'm looking at this synth guy right now on the loading screen, and that's his heart with the tubes in it. And then we see it's like in digestion system in the lower intestines. I think that was probably built to kind of have a very human-esque feel to it rather than to just be a hundred percent robot, which is kind of an interesting thing because if I was to build a robot, I wouldn't want to necessarily mimic the human form and at least it's internal organs because as in the internal organs, we're not really laid out super efficiently. I mean, we're, we're as efficient as evolution made us out to be, but like, it's like that whole discussion about how your eyeball has a blind spot where all the nerves connect and your brain, instead of like evolving a way to go around the brain, the blind spot instead just pretends the blind spot isn't there. And then we crash into shit and stuff when we're driving cars and just stuff like that, because there is a blind spot that just physically gets filled in with what the brain thinks would be there. But if there's actually an object there, you know, it's. The brain's just like, oh, I don't see it. And you, they have experiments where you can hold like a card up to your face and you can move it back and forth. And as the card moves closer to your face, there's a dot on it that disappears and yada yada. It's pretty cool. They're, they're very good experiments to do. Now, we're not gonna go in here again. We've already, you know, it has some cool stuff and we killed some things, but it's not really what we need. What we need is to t exact revenge on these son of a bitches. Hey, you are hey. So you're dead. Get out of here. What do you have? What do you have for me? Give it here. All right, who else is gonna die now? Cause I am pissed and unhappy about that. Oh, you, you lose a head. Get out of there. You look so much better as a giant ball of plasma. Get out of here. Let's see who else is next. Come on, show your ugly face. Me, what about you? Yep, I shot your body out from under your head. Now, side note, awesome view. Other side note, I like how Fallout 4 makes raider encampments always look kind of similar. It's always a lot of wood shoddily put together. Like, that's the raider encampment style. I think that's pretty funny. This guy actually had some pretty good armors on him. That metal left leg is better than the left leg I'm currently using. Hold on, why is that? Oh, because I have energy higher than that. Oh, and this has energy lower. Nah, you know what? Let's keep the energy for now because, I mean, it's, I don't run into a lot of energy users, of course, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not really, ooh. I'm not really feeling like, oh, you see that? You can just sleep without having too much of a problem and just drop that save. That's, you know, the catnap option. I'm happy to see that the catnap option. Uh, it's not necessarily a, like, op easily discoverable thing, but I, I heard about that and I was like, oh, that's sick. Anyway, sleep, quickly cancel, you get your catnap. Drop the save. 
don't have to worry about losing an hour of eating and water and stuff. Which is interesting because we talked about how it was cool that you'd have that option, you had that like limitation to saving. That's a rocket launcher. That's a rocket launcher. That's a rocket launcher. Gate. Gate. Oh god. Oh, I kind of want to shoot him. I know that's not the right thing to do in a way, but what if we get a rocket launcher? I mean, we've already had one. We already threw it away, but it's fun, you know? It's kind of cool. Also, I'm really curious to see how range works on laser. Whoa. Dude, this guy had the life, whoever was up here. I mean, hot plate, buff out, some pre-war money, psycho, gas can. This is pretty sick. Just had a TV and was rocking himself. Okay. Let's see if we can do this well. I feel like lasers shouldn't have range because they are literally just photons moving. And as long as they maintain their precision when you're shooting that laser, you know, making sure that it's refi the photons are concentrated enough, it should have no range. So I feel like, I mean, I guess it's, you could debate that. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Hold on one second, dudes. Now, which way is he coming around? <laughs> I don't think attacking the dude with the rocket launcher is necessarily the right thing to do. But damn, is it fun right now. <laughs> oh, please don't die. I don't like having a wall right there because then he just has to hit the wall to kill me. It's, uh... Alright, I see my frag mine. I see my frag mine. Oh! <laughs> so I'm not too upset about that, because look, we just popped right back here with our little quick cat nap. So that was actually, uh, that wasn't too bad. It's, it's stupid of me to continue to try to beat that guy, because clearly, us attacking, we have to, I'm attacking all wrong. I mean, thinking about it in the correct form, our character is a close range pistol user. If we wanted to fight a rocket launcher guy, we need to either A, get close up to them so that they have to deal with us being nearby and it's harder to shoot us. You know, a lot of, let's say, I don't know, not like cover. Uh, yeah, I guess like kind of knee high covers. So basically they have to deal with that. So it makes me want to fight that guy again because I really kind of want to defeat him. Like we know he's here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. Perfect. Also, we have Molotovs. I, I don't even want a rocket launcher. I just want to fight this guy. Also, we haven't died, like, for a little while. And I felt like it wasn't because of, Oh, hey -oh. Over. Here's a perfect example of using... Ha 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 ha! Using the environment to our advantage. Oh, wow. Look at all those missiles and launchers. Nah, we can't use any of that, really. Look how much those weigh. Seven pounds each. Missile launcher weighs 21 pounds. Is valuable. Is there anything we can shoot with a missile launcher right now, actually? Ooh, he had some 45 rounds. Like a soft shell Myra Lurk? Oh, okay. Hold on. This is just gonna be for fun. Hold on. We get the missiles, too? Yeah, here we go. Hold on. Let's have some fun. <laughs> that did no damage. Jesus Christ. That did damage. Oh, uh, this is nice. Da, 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 da. Oh, that one kind of lived. You know what? Just to make sure that we can save a little ammo. There we go. You know what? I'm going to carry this for with us for right now. I mean, we're just shooting rockets. It's not like we're going to keep them for nearly that much longer, but there might be a couple more Myrlex worth just pinging real quick. And that'll be fun. Plus, we got a gore bag to look at. <gasps> it's an amphitheater. Okay, we're going to hit the amphitheater up real quick and just chat with some people because I've never actually done that. And there is the last bit of the Myrlex that exists here. It's just puddles. Ooh, uh, we need some bottles. We've been uh, a little low on water, so that's going to be helpful. All right, let's go ahead and check out... What's going on at the amphitheater? Hello, amphitheater of everyone. I am the in initiate. I hope you decide to change your life today. You look really familiar, but I guess, hello, brother Andrew. 
Excuse me. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me uh, something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? Are you referring to before the war? Why do you ask? Because if you are that kind of person, you've come to the right place, neighbor. We call ourselves the pillars of the community. We're a pretty new movement, so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth, and you can be part of this exciting future. Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Well, that's just fantastic. I know you're going to fit right in around here. I hope you decide to become one of the pillars of the community. Hold on, let's see if there's a spot where I can sleep real quick, and then uh, we can do this conversation in a little bit. You know, all these mattresses seem to be owned. I'm always excited to welcome a new member into our fold. That's a bummer. Why is it stealing a beer bottle? Like, are you just gonna refill it yourself? I'm a little confused. Wow, that's a lot of caps. And canes. And nuke. Why do you have a mini nuke? What's with... It's a weird oddity of groups of stuff. And also, taking the pillow isn't stealing. But using the bed is a no-no. But taking it, it, the other thing is fine. Oh, check it, he's got an office. Just follow me. I'll totally just follow you in a second. But, uh... You know what? One sec. I'm just gonna run back to the bed that we were at. So, dudes... Thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button underneath me. And of course, may the ground rise to each feet. The wind always be at your back. And may the sun shine warmly in your sexy, sexy face. Now, dudes, see you later. Bye.